Springs U.S. Women's Open, presented by the brands of Ebonite International. Hello, my name is Del Warren, Vice President of the Kegel Training Center, and uh, as we continue to talk about the 2011 BPA United States Women's Open, um, the, the next subject is, is really, um, I think, uh, in layman's terms, sometimes a little underrated and not talked about enough. It's something at the Kegel Training Center with the Weber International team uh, that we focus on quite a bit, and, that, and that's the mental game. And going into a major championship with a longer format, Certainly a lot more money at stake, a lot more prestige. Um, with that pressure comes the ability to deal with it, everything mentally. And uh, so we have uh, four major championship winners here, including the defending uh, champion, Kelly Kulik. Um, Kelly, I'm going to start with you uh, a little bit about, you know, how do you prepare mentally for a major? And uh, are you going to prepare uh, any, anything differently this year versus when you won last year? Well, I think the mentality comes from having confidence in a lot of things. Knowing your equipment that we've already talked about, um, feeling comfortable with your physical game, and knowing what slight adjustments you might have to make. For me, when I'm warming up, I actually shoot spares the first few minutes, so I know my physical fundamentals and my mechanics are strong. That way I don't have to feel like I'm trying to manufacture or adjust my game to the lane pattern that's out there. Um, mentally, like we said before, it's, it's the long haul. It's not one in one game. It's a duration, and um, usually the longer formats tend to favor me because physically I feel fit. I know I can endure the, the 48 games, however long it is, and that just gives me more, more confidence that mentally prepares me to, to be out there and be strong. Um, I know there's a lot of great competitors out there, but I'm one of the top competitors right now, and um, I, I guess that gives me a little bit of confidence and mentally makes me feel stronger knowing what I'm capable of doing. So I take nothing for granted, and I think you know, I know Liz is a great competitor, and, and Carolyn, and all the other great lady bowlers out there. And I think if you go in thinking you're going to win it right away, that's not the mentality you need. You need to see yourself as an equal, and um, do what you can do best for that given day, for that given moment. And when it comes time to the end, just know that you've given it your best, being prepared, and accept it. And know that you may have to make a change the next day, but you did the best you could. Well, uh, Kelly, that was really insightful. and. Uh... Certainly, uh, as you defend your championship this year, we're, we're all going to wish you the best. And, and it's interesting to see here that uh, you pretty much do the same thing for every tournament and, or for every major that you prepare for. So uh, with that said, we're going to switch to Tommy Jones. Tommy, um, you know, how do you prepare for a championship? You know, I, I try to go in there with the attitude that uh, you can't win the first day. You can only lose the first day. And to keep everything as even kill as you possibly can. There's going to be highs. There's going to be lows and you have to be able to offset those. The high you have to be able to come down from because we've all made bad shots when we've been on this emotional high because we lost focus of something. And we've all been on the other side of it when we're down ourselves and we're not thinking clearly and we don't you know, process everything that we know how to do. Um, also a big key for me because you're bowling for more money and the prestige of winning a major tournament is to not think about that. You, you, if you're coming to bowl this tournament, you've probably been bowling for quite some time and you need to show up and do what you've been trained to do. And what you're there is to, to bowl, and that's how you and you know how to do that. So not think about the other things. I mean, the other things will come if you perform well. And uh, you know, just keep everything as even as you possibly can, and take all the information that you get from practice session, from day one, from watching other people, and use that to your benefit to move up the leaderboard as the week goes on. Yeah, well said, Jason. You won three majors in a row. Uh, I don't think. If, uh, if our memory recalls me, I don't, I'm not sure anyone's ever done that before. So uh, you have a knack for rising to the occasion. Um, how do you prepare mentally for a championship? It's totally different from a normal week. You know, when we get out, let's say for our Cheetah Championships, the scores are high. You know you have to throw a seven or eight bagger every game. So you have the mentality of a sprinter. You have to get out of the gates really quick. Complete opposite for a major. You know that 210 to 220 is a great score to major. So you kind of have to gear yourself down to a mentality that, hey, if I catch two doubles and keep that game clean, that's two team. You know, you do that for 48 games, you're making the TV show. There's no question. So you have to gear yourself down as top players that, that we are to understand that 215 is still a really good game in this game. Mm. You know, and I think that will be a difficult decision for people that come in as amateurs from their leagues that are 225, 235 average bowlers that bowl at every game. They have to understand it's a grind at the U.S. Open. It's not a sprint, 
It's a marathon. And you have to understand that going in there. And then when you, once you get in there and you understand that, the thing I tell myself is don't forget, commit. You get up there and you commit to that shot. You commit to being the confident bowler that you know you can be, and you go out there and you make a great shot every time. Do you start this process, um, since it is so different, do you start it at practice session, uh, or do you start thinking about that a week before or two weeks before? The last ball I throw in the tournament previous, that tournament's over, I focus on that major coming up. It may be a week before, maybe two weeks before, I'm already looking forward to that major and I'm already gearing myself down to know that 215 is going to be a great score. Interesting. Preparation. Liz? Mentally, is, uh, we're hearing, is pretty important, especially with the long formats and, and, and everything that's riding on the line. Um, do you treat this the same, or do you treat it a little bit different? Probably a step higher. Um, definitely walk it into, you know, into the tournament site and uh, definitely knowing you have confidence in your physical game and knowing your equipment is, is a big key. Um, but definitely when you, in a major, having all those games, having won a marathon, not a sprint, um, you, t you definitely take one game at a time, and like Tommy said, you know, you got to keep an even keel. Um, there's been times I've been told, I don't know if you're shooting 150 or shooting 250, and you just got to take the highs with the lows, and um, you know, you fill the frames, and if you make a bad game, you throw a bad shot, uh, the first thing, you just got to forget about it and uh, go on to the, the next frame or that next game, and if you have a bad day, you know, you go on to the next day. Well, that, uh, that's very similar to what we teach at, at Kegel. Um, we use a term called being present. So you make a bad shot, and you got to focus on what's in front of you, which means being present. And in, in college bowling, it's very similar to where they only get 10 or 12 tournaments, maybe nine, and they're really trying to work their way towards um, the national championships. And everything that we do is to gear towards that major, and that is their major. And uh, the big thing is, is uh, the same thing. It's, it's a grind and to be able to stay focused on the now and uh, literally not taking one frame at a time, one, one shot at a time. And that's uh, very similar to what I'm hearing uh, each one of you say that it is a little more stress, it's, it's, a, it's a longer run, and that you really have to break it down one shot at a time and do your process, do what you do best. And uh, it, uh, it, is, uh, it certainly will pay dividends and it's, it's not easy to learn. I know that uh, when I went on tour, it, it took me a couple years to learn the term grind. Um, especially when you're bowling league or you're bowling a weekend tournament where it's three to six games and it, it is a sprint, as Jason said. So hopefully uh, for everyone this gives you a little bit of insight that maybe your, uh, your mindset needs to be a little bit different in this tournament. Um, keep the ball close to the pocket and uh, mentally stay tough from shot to shot and we think that you'll do a little bit better and, and have a great time bowling and, and hopefully maybe we'll see uh, somebody on television out there. Thanks a lot. Hi, I'm Kelly Kulik, 2010 U.S. Open Women's Champion. I invite you ladies to come on out and sharpen your skills and learn about the game of bowling. You will be entitled to work with some of the best coaches there is in the sport of bowling. If you're looking to sharpen your skills, learn about the U.S. Open pattern, and someday be a future competitor in this event, I encourage you to come out, put on your shoes, tie them up, and give it a go. You too can bowl to win. Bowling's U.S. Women's Open. Presented by the brands of Ebonite International.